Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XV. Last time, we saved the Chocobos from Deadeye, so let's go spend a little time with the birds. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, there you go. Yeah, boy. Oh, M.G. Most adorable bird ever. I'm sure it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh. You, you don't want pets? Okay, never mind then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, the boy. Well, at least some of them are friendly. Just don't try and peck my head off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, the boy. Oh, okay. I guess they're. All... I wonder if their reactions are like randomly chosen or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. Because sometimes oh, I've boy. seen them, like, not approach Noctis at all. They don't want to get near him or something. I don't know. But, okay, so last time, Wiz was saying there was a Chocobo that got hurt. So, yeah, let's head on down there and see if we can help out. Normally, or at least in my test runs, I did this quest much later in the game. Actually, hold on. Let's get a little closer first. Yeah, right? That's about as close as I can get for now. But yeah, the area where the Chocobo is, is much higher leveled than the other areas that I've been Ready to. More? You bet. Let's hit it. So I usually have gone there later in the game when I have hunts, higher, much higher leveled hunts in the area, so I do stuff at the same time. But I think the rewards are more than good enough. To warrant an yeah. early trip mm -hmm. there. So, let's head on down there. Ah, there we go. One of my favorite songs from the game. Okay, so let's see. Probably got a bunch of treasure we can sell here, too. Nothing extraordinary. Yet. Well, the behemoth horn is pretty good, but I'm just going to sell it. So, we could use the cash... Yeah, a little lighter on cash than I usually am, but this will change massively eventually. Just right now, I don't have the money for everything. Oh yeah, by the way, with the repair kits, now that we are in Chapter 3, we can buy them straight from the car. Hooray! So I don't have to go back to a shop if I unexpectedly find another car that's broken down. Whoa, they got a lot of those arches over there. But, uh, we'll take care of that later. For now, let's head on down here. Unfortunately, this area, the... What is that called? The... Cost Cherry Plains is... Th there is no, like, parking lot that's, like, really close to this specific part. Huh? Oh, was there... Hey, what's going on? Pronto? You wanna so talk or what? I haven't taken pics of whatever catches my eye, but what do you want to see? Oh, whatever you got, I guess. Maybe Gladio? How about more shots of Gladio? <sighs> gotcha. I'll see what I can do. So, okay. Not really sure what the point of that is, but okay. Are we... It should be a nice change of pace. Yeah, I was going to say, are we at our destination? I think we are. Okay, so now we can't go any farther with a car. Let's get a chocobo going. Easy now. And find that other chocobo around here. I don't think there's any treasure on the way. Well, I mean, there's a food spot. Let's find him quick. Yeah, need to help the poor guy. Okay, so to dismount your chocobo, you have to hold the X button. What's what? I've come up with a new recipe. Hey! Uh, I could taste test for you. I'm not gonna use that recipe, or at least not right now. The sky and oranges, I think, are used for tricast elemency, if I recall correctly. Let's see what we got there. So, oh, quadcast. Okay. I was thinking of something else, but yeah, that's still not bad. But in any case, yeah, let's uh, get out of there. I don't need to craft any of that stuff. Let's just find the other chocobo around here. Okay, where are you? There you go. 
Yeah, usually, as far as using a chocobo goes, if my target destination is like 200 feet or less, or 200 feet or more, I think it's worthwhile using a chocobo rather than just walking where I want to go. Oh, it's got to be him. Knocked. Do you have the medicine? Oh, I, oh, okay. I was gonna say, I forgot about that part, but, uh, now, now, we got a potion. Surely, this'll work on the chocobo as well as it does on humans. There. Hey! Oh, what a relief. You take care now. Okay, done with our business here. I will fully explore this section of the sky later. Not right now. Let's just get back to the car. And, okay, yeah, we don't have very much in the way of railings, but uh, I think further down the road, it's kind of hard to get down and back up this part. It, it, it's much lower level down below there. But, uh, okay, so let's get back to the Chocobo Post report. Job well done. And continue the chain of quests from uh, Wiz there. We've got quite a few that we could do without too much effort so yeah that's part of why i wanted to do this quest right now but also because we get some pretty good rewards that'll help well improve our chocobo and us okay let's see right there well did y'all find the bird yeah he's doing better now easy enough Moving around is that right y'all did me a real good turn today I owe you. I don't have much I can give y'all, but I can What's that? this for your chocobo. It's brand new. Oh, what does it do? Well, let's find out. But now that we've unlocked Curiel Greens, we can buy them at the shop there. So another type that you can feed to your chocobo. Welcome to the chocobo post. Let's see what we got. So yeah, Curiel Greens, they just flat out boost your speed. So, I think they're probably the best of the three, but sometimes I like using different ones in different situations. Like, gliding would be more useful if I'm trying to overcome, like, rocks or other obstacles so I can stay in the air longer. Y'all come back now! But in general, the Curio Greens are the way to go. Okay, let's see. More quest time? Hey, Y'all getting bored of my chow? What do you mean? I mean, I do serve the same thing all the time. Oh, oh we get around. Thinking, I gotta spice up the old menu. I wanna be more particular about vegetables. Oh, okay. See something nice. You bring around a bushel, all right? Okay. Well, I got plenty of if ingredients on anything. me. But all right, this one, yeah, pretty easy. Although I'll show you a couple points where you can find them if for some reason you don't have any. Mostly. Back in lead there. Let's see. So, yeah, we got AG Roots right over there. I think there's a couple down by Golden Key here as well. Oh, that's not one. Anything else here? Oh, yeah, there's another one. So, yeah, plenty of places where you could get them rather easily. So, let's get that one. Y'all reckon this veg can spice up my menu? Why not? Maybe. Can't hurt, right? Well, what's it taste like? Like something good? Yeah. <laughs> well, if y'all say so, now I'll get myself in the kitchen, start cooking. Y'all be sure to give the new dish a try. Hey, hey, all right. So for completing the quest, we unlock a new dish at the restaurant there. So yeah, let's well, go check that one out. Today? Grab some grub before you go. Sure, a new recipe. The Fat Chocobo Triple Decker. Boost your experience gains by 50%. Can do. It's one of the reasons why I wanted hungry. to get that recipe. Look out, stomach. For a much greater boost than we could with the multi-meat sandwich that we had from before there. And also, by eating this. I dare say I could make this at camp. Hey, new recipe. So we can use that one whenever we want. Okay, so we're done with that. Back soon. Let's get another quest going from Wiz there. Ah, good timing, son. What's going on? What's up? Wild Chocobo went and got herself attacked. Folks say they saw her running for her life, all desperate-like. 
Don't worry. We'll find her. Oh, work. How hard could it possibly be? But, uh, okay, so we got that. Let's see, I want to change my equipment coming up here. Let's see, let's go with... Hold on, let me check that. Okay, I've got 552 attack power. And then I think the Kakaitis would be a little more useful here because the, we're, the enemies are going to be weak to ice and firearms. Okay, then, yeah, keep going. Let's get back on the brain lands there with the better attack power. Keep the axe equipped there for the stat boost. You're good there. Let's get you on the hard edge. I don't think I'll be using any of his techniques in the near future. Okay, so then we got, yeah, emerald bracelet going on. Let's see, ruby bracelet. You're good. Oh, I want to get enhancement going on him. And we got snapshot going as usual. And let's see, I think we got another, didn't we get another? Yeah, amethyst bracelet. Let's get that one on for you. And I think we're good. So let's see. This one is back at the... Yeah, the Three Valleys over there. So pretty quick in and out. From? So that's the... So he hopes to bring in hmm. customers by expanding the menu. It ain't easy, the restaurant business. And it's got nothing to do with this chocobos either. Hmm. Whatever it takes to make ends meet. Starting to sound like a real commoner, your highness. <laughs> but, uh, okay, yeah, let's get going back to the Three Valleys parking spot. There you go. Kind of seemed like I overlapped a couple conversations there. Something, I don't know. But, eh, just nice little details. Everything in order. Yep, right behind you. Okay, so, yeah, right there, there's a broken car. Easy enough to take care of, especially now that we can just buy them on the road. I can't just leave my car and walk home. You might have to, especially with all the sand everywhere. But, uh, no, no, we got a repair kit for you. That's fine. So, yeah, this one's only available in Chapter 3. A long trek. All in a day's work. At least I think so. Maybe there's a prerequisite. I, I didn't, like, list all the prerequisites in my notes. I just know, do this now, do that then. Okay, so I think there's a... Yeah, there's a treasure, or a random treasure, around here. Might as well check that out. Well, at least we're not too far. Let me see if I can go around the back of this place. I don't think so. Can I get under this thing? Oh, I can. Oh, no. She's in a bad way. Well, I knew that. Our own tales to worry about first. Whoa. Remember. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Can I get my weapons? Thank you. Yeah, let's try and get away from the main pack there a little bit. Come on. There we go. Try that one again, pal. Wow, these guys are coming out of nowhere. You're surprised. But all right, easy enough. Not. Hurry up and heal the chocobo. Yeah, it's not time to celebrate yet. But all right. That's a good girl. She's better already. Oh. Oh. Wait off. Okay, that's everything I you want. Oh, what? Live here. It's not the safest place for chocobos. Mm. Wiz says many have already fallen prey. It's not nice. like you can round them all up and put them in a pen. That's just the way things are out here, I guess. Yeah, we managed to save one of them at least. Well, a couple of them. But uh, okay, yeah, let's uh, get back. Then, and I'll just turn in this quest. And then I want to start, finally, start exploring the sky. There we go. Yeah, three episodes into Chapter 3, and I haven't even gotten around to exploration and treasures all over the overworld. 
basically the way I've organized things for chapter three is so what's next? Back just by the hunt is up to knocked. And then do whatever quests I can do in the area while I'm doing those hunts. And pick up what I can when it's convenient. Okay, where are you? There you go. <sighs> Looks like y'all got good news. You save her? Yeah, we got there just in time. Heck, I'm <laughs> mighty grateful to y'all. It's usually bad news. And mm. I was bracing myself for more. Sometimes I get to thinking maybe keeping chocobos ain't in accord with the laws of nature. It but might be. Them fellas are just too darn adorable. Anyway, I'd like y'all to have this. Oh, oh yeah, thanks. what's this? Oh, just some more experience? Well, at least we got the recipe to help out with that a little bit. Oh, what's that for? I don't know. But in any case, yeah, that's all the quests that we can do there. Let me see. Probably in leisure goods. Oh, okay. So I guess more colors for our chocobos. If you wanted to do that. I just like to make them different colors so I can tell the difference. Well, I mean, who's to say what's natural or not? We There's are. No easy answer. But they do seem happy in their pens. You mean it's chocobos? Yeah. Yeah, they do. Indeed. Okay. So, how are we doing on experience? Yeah, I think we're good enough. Let's go to... Golden Key. Or wait, how's my money doing? How are we looking? Hmm. I'm just thinking if that's, that would be worth the amount of money. I think so. Because... Yeah. Yeah. If there's enough experience to gain a level, I think it's worth using the hotel at Golden Key, Keyside Cradle. But otherwise, I would rest up either at, say, a Long Wife Rest Area or something like that. Keep it moving. Mm -hmm. Right behind you. But, yeah, we're doing all right. It's not like I'm resting up here all the time. So, money will not be a problem for very much longer. And whenever you go to an outpost, make sure to refresh your chocobo rental there so you don't run out. And then you can't call your chocobo around whenever you need. So, sometimes I forget about it. There's also some instances where the game will deny you or well cancel your rentals another headache this is not normal but that's not until way later in the game welcome to golden key so it's always good to just keep an eye on that and by the way as far as oh uh, yeah let's uh, get going here as far as the weather conditions go like when i was doing the chocobo races and stuff. If you want to manipulate the weather, go to a haven that's in whatever region you want to change the weather, and you can just pass the time to the next morning over and over and over again until you get the weather conditions that you want. But I got lucky. I didn't need to do that. Hey, isn't that... Isn't what what? Just my imagination. Hmm. I don't know what that's about, but okay, maybe Carbuncle's hiding somewhere and I just can't see them. The thing is, though... To hold on to this one. Hmm, that's a nice picture. But yeah, when you... Whoa. When you advance the time of day like that, it does count against your uh, rental period, but not your the duration of the food buff. Or whatever you've got going on there. Hmm. So, yeah, there are some things that are a little tricky like that. Aww. My likes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> now that's what I call a good shot. It is? I don't know what that is. But anyway, okay, let's see. What do we got here? Yeah, let's go with this one. And yeah, this is a good picture, too. 
But, uh, okay. Oh, what's this? Yeah. Hey, Prince. You're hey! Really come and get it. I don't think I'm going to use it right away, but we might as well pick it up. So, yeah, again, that one requires doing some number of quests or whatever since you dropped it off and rest it up somewhere and then Sid's ready to go. I don't think I have anything new for him to do yet, though, but we'll see. So let's get back over there on the way and... Well, I was going to say go to Koenig Station Alster, but actually there's some other things, or one other thing I want to do. I want to get a food buff going before I get in there. Here we are. Hmm. We made it. I was thinking about maybe resting up at a haven and then come over here because we get a or was it some experience Can I interest you in some shopping might not be about there you all are here's your weapon now but uh yeah it's a negligible amount of experience and by the way if you're playing ahead of me and you got multiple moogle well, charms looks like we got some new gearheads in the making uh they can stack on each other with each character and we can further upgrade the engine blade but it's gonna be a while before we get that item for that not too long though but uh okay hunters lead a busy life these days are so swamped with taking care of varmints and demons that they mm. sometimes forget the little requests well someone's gotta do them seeing ya oh my aching back Oh, but uh, okay, so we're done with our business here. Let's head over to Prairie Outpost to rest up. At least that's the nearest haven that's, or to Koenig Station Altar that I've already been to. So I don't have treasures to pick up everywhere. I want to take a look at my magic as long as we're at a haven. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we got some Thundara, Fire. I'd like to get a Blizzara spell going. Doesn't need to have anything special on it. Just, you know, a little extra Ice Elemental damage now that we've gotten enough. Ah, uh, what was that? Oh, uh, enough Magic Flasks, that is. So, kind of stingy on that at the beginning of the game, but that's all right. Okay, so yeah, let's recharge. I think that's the only one I need, though. Very good. And then over here, I think there's a treasure. Or a random one, anyway. Eh, nothing great. But, uh, okay. Camping. Again. Well, you got a problem with camping? <laughs> No, no, not really. But I do really want a poison immunity while we're exploring, especially Disguise. And then, hmm. I think I might want to go with the Mimic Greens instead of the Curiel Greens because I'm going to be stopping and starting a lot. I'm not going to have a whole lot of room to run really fast with the Chocobos. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go with that. Gonna be stopping and starting a lot with Tokobos. Because, well, we're gonna be picking up a lot of treasure. See, I need a little under 200 more to get that accessory slot for Nactus, but it is pretty important for him. Especially since I wanna give him the Moogle charm. Feeling refreshed. Well, accessory like slots a bit more. become more important when you need, like, status protection in addition to your usual stat boosting ones. But, uh, okay, so, yeah, let's get over to there. And I want to pick up a hunt over there. And then we'll start exploring the area. Got lots of treasures all over the place. It's going to take quite a while to... Explore everything. So how about a breather? Oh, I should uh, equip 
just a regular mithril pistol. Mostly for dealing with like Imperial drop ships and stuff. We're probably gonna be finding a lot of them. Okay, so yeah, we got a much more powerful sword. I'm not gonna use it right now. I think these weapons will suffice for my needs. Oh, yeah, we uh, got a couple more days left on this. Okay, and then, oh, what do we got? Jedi is dead. Disguised farmers are celebrating the demise of the infamous behemoth who terrorized the region. The predator's <laughs> insatiable appetite led it to wreak havoc on farms and ravage crops. This mm. hunt followed several unsuccessful attempts by bands of hunters to put an end to the menace. The repeated failures had begun to create a crisis of confidence among beleaguered residents. But it was a different story as the hunters reported the beast felled by a team of four of their finest. Well, I don't know about that. Under the surrounding area. But, uh, well, at least everyone's happy. Welcome to the crow's nest. I like how they have a little extra follow-up right? there. So, what do you want to know? Ah, I think that's for, uh, Dave's quest. We need to ask him to find, uh, yeah, one of those dog tags over there. Take a look at the menu. Okay, nothing new there, I think. But oh, I do want to get a couple more quests in the area. Go or, well, get hunts. I think these also count towards Sid Best of uh, luck. finishing up, uh, upgrading a weapon or something like that. Don't work too hard. Oh, no, I wouldn't think of it. Okay, so, let's see. Over by Dave, I think there was a, a treasure I missed. Someone was reminding me of that. Don't know how I missed it. Okay. Better make tracks. Chop, chop, prop, chop. Hmm. There in a jiffy. Maybe over here? Ah, there we go. Yeah, so an antidote. And a random treasure, I think. Eh, nothing extraordinary this time. Okay, so we got that. Okay, so we got... Yeah, we got everything ready to go. Oh, wait, no, not that one. That one. Okay, I think the treasure behind the outpost here might have respawned. Let's check it out. No, that's not there. Thought it was between all these bushes. Maybe it's considered part of the outpost. Yeah, it probably is. Okay, never mind. Okay, so... First one, I think, is right over there. I want to look up. Yeah, let's go check that one out. Probably going to run into a lot of... Uh, what is it? Enemies weak to pole arms. Uh, like, boar teeth, especially. Okay, where are you? Hmm. Maybe it's on top of this stuff. No? Hmm. Maybe I mismarked it or something. Nothing in the area. Hmm. Let me double check that. Oh, it's probably... No? Let's see, there's a little ridge going down here. Yeah, it's probably a little further down. It is kind of hard to tell. Hmm. I could have sworn there was one, like, on top of these rocks here. You know, where are you? Hmm. Okay, well, if I don't find this soon, I'm just going to move on. I want to get my own marker a little off of that. Okay. Hmm. Let me try over there one more time, and then we'll move on. Oh, maybe it's on top of those rats. No? Hmm. 
Oh, was it? Oh, there it is, I think. Yeah, okay. Finally found it. And it was totally worth it. Not. Oh, well. Okay, so... Let's see, there should be a food spot somewhere in that general area. Let's go check that one out. I don't think we can climb all the way to the top of these cliffs. And let's stay out here, maybe find some more enemies. Would be nice to have some enemies to fight for a change. Okay, what do we got? So what I want to do is work my way back towards lead from here with my tr with the treasures. Oh wow, I pinned that right on to the food spot. There's some treasures uh, back at the That's it. blockade. What's up, Iggy? I've come up with a new recipe that I couldn't get before. Try it. But uh, all right, more ingredients. Okay, and then I think there's one just a little north and west of the place. There we go. So this is going to be our primary means of acquiring more rare coins and other treasures. Aha! See, I don't even need ice to one-shot these guys. Although sometimes, if there's an especially large group of them, I will use enhancement. But not this time. Okay, and then all the way up here, I think it's up here, there's another treasure. And then we'll swing back down. Actually, hmm. Actually, let's go after a different treasure first since we're closer to this spot or no we're not actually okay never mind i was thinking about doing something else but no no bad idea okay gotta find a way to get up top there so we'll just go around clockwise for now yeah it's really nice having the drainlands 3 at this point much more powerful than any other pole arm we can Access. You what I can really do. I only had a gill for every time he said that. Oh, yeah. If you'll let me, could you move out of the way, Pronto? I'd like to shoot the monster. Thank you. You like that? Nice work. Easy enough. Hey, bots of AP. Okay. Is there anything up here? I don't think there is, actually. Got a little... Oh! There is! Hey, a, a more treasure that I... I don't think that was what I was looking for, was it? Oh, no, it was. I just marked it wrong in-game. In I, I knew where I was going. Okay, yeah, let's head on back down, then. This one is... I think right about there or so. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, there it is. So, before we get on to the, well, the first hunt that I want to do in the region, I want to do a bit of exploring. Or at least as long as we're in the area, on the way there. Okay, where are you? Oh yeah, one thing you might notice in the sky, we got new battle music. Each region of the game has a different random battle theme, or well, non-boss battle theme, I guess. On what? Yep. Normal encounter theme, whatever you want to call it. But those guys are easy enough. Don't even have time to use snapshot against them. Okay. Hey, hey, all right. Okay, so then 
See, I need to get down about here, I think. Something like that. I thought about maybe getting all of these treasures on the way up and then warping back to the car. But I think that might have taken longer if I did it that way. Something like that. Oh, wow. Pretty close. Very good. Okay, this one can be a little tricky to pin down. Yeah. Something like that. Try to stick to the open areas when you're exploring for a random treasure like this. More likely to find enemies that way. Get some easy AP along the way. Okay, so for now, I'm going to head east. And then, yeah, stick to this side of the road. And then uh, eventually I'll swing around back then. But, uh, okay, yeah, this is going to be a bit far. Probably should have been using my chocobos a bit more up to this point. Let's go. Whoops. But, uh, okay. Ah, there we go. Thanks for the ride. Hmm. We'll meet again. Okay, and then, let's see, let's go about here, I think, there's one. A lot of these can, can potentially hold Cast treasure. If I do run into enemies, though, I will get off my chocobo. And, well, fight whatever I've got. Sometimes a chocobo will join in on the fight and kill steal. But it's not that important. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Okay, let's see. Next one. Oh, yeah, way over here. Something like there, I think. Check it out. There is a lot of treasure just, like, right on the side of the roads, too. But not so much in the way of enemies there. Except maybe, like, some dropships or something. Ah, there it is. So it may seem like I'm not going over a long distance with the chocobos, but all of that adds up pretty quickly for experience there and all that. Mm, not doing too great on my supplies, but... Oh, wait, how many rare coins did I have? I didn't even look at that. Hmm, not bad. Gonna take a while to get more Easy of them, though. Now. Okay, so for the next one... Let's see, right about... There, I think. So, yeah, you see the stamina bar on the Chocobo is, well, a different color and longer than it was before thanks to the greens that I fed them. You're mine. Get a little distance going here. Ha-ha! Did I hit the guy? Whoa! Okay, where's the one you guys were softening up? I guess they killed one of them. None the worse for Sometimes, if you're quick enough, you can get your whistle out and call your chocobo before the battle results pop up. Otherwise, they'll kind of lock you out of it for a few seconds. <sighs> kind of annoying. We'll meet again. <sighs> okay, so then... Got to go a little further east, I think. Yeah. Oh, I got to... Zoom in a bit there. Okay, right about here, so. There's a couple treasures there. Like right next to each other, practically. Yeah, usually your stamina, regardless of like which greens you use, still gonna take about like 10. Or, well, eight or ten steps to use up all of your stamina, or for your 
Uh, what is it? Your sprints to wear off. Ah, well, here's one of the treasures. Any more? No! Well, there's the two treasures. Of course, I find them when I'm not looking for them, actually. Just right in the middle of everything. Okay, so... I don't think there's anything up there, but let's check it out. So what'll happen is when you use your whistle to call your chocobo, if you're within a certain distance of where the chocobo was, it'll take them a few seconds to get back to you. But if you... If you're not in range, then it'll just spawn, like, right behind you like that. I like using the traditional chocobo colors for Noctis' chocobo. But, uh, alright! Oh, I was like... I was thinking we were fighting the other enemies. Keep going with that. Let's clean them up quick. See one more. There you are. Oh, that was weird, but I got my MP go. refill. That happens sometimes like that. Okay, where are we? Let's see, I'm gonna grab that treasure first. And, hmm. Yeah, let's go grab the treasure Easy first, now. and then I'll take care of those enemies down below. Okay, where are you? Kind of slow down while I'm searching a bit here. Hmm, I thought it was around here. Sometimes I'm dead on, sometimes dead off. Hmm. Thanks for the ride. Well, let's take a closer look here. Okay, I'm a about in the right area. Hmm. Let's go. Nice let's go take care of the the gorillas here. They're kind of similar to the the dual horns we fought before, with tusks or horns on the front. There, these guys are passive until you attack them. They are weak to great swords and fire. Don't be late. Say your prayers. So we can take care of them. Easily oh, enough there. Up, one for posterity. So, I don't think I can one-shot them, but I can do pretty well there. Okay, let's get... You want to try and break their tusks, if you can, for money. Okay, I think I locked on to it. Something like that. Okay, I guess I can one-shot these guys. Never mind, then. Well, at least I got their tusks there. Okay, where are you? Oh, well, yeah, let's get another snapshot here. Watch out for Gladio, though, with the Blade of Brenner. Or wait, no, I didn't give that to him. I gave him a stronger weapon. Okay, lock on. Ha-ha! Time to make a delivery. Hmm? Don't want to spoil the spoils. Oh, I, I knew that. That's it. What's hmm? up, Biggie? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. A little earlier than I was anticipating for that, but it will do. Okay, let me try seeing where we are here for that treasure. Okay, so I do know it's around here somewhere. Maybe a little closer? Let's somewhere go. over there. By the cliff there. No, that was right where I was before. Hmm, okay. Well then, let's see what we got. I'll take one more look. But if I don't find it soon, then I'll just move on to something else. 
Okay, where are you? Maybe I already got the treasure. Oh, there it is. I knew that. Okay, what do we got? Whoa. Oh, quit over dramatizing. Ran over here as fast as I could. What? Well, never asked you to. You like that? Watch yourself, Lord. I know. Okay, we got anything oh, else? Oh yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, then there's one back by the side of the road. About there, I think. Along the road here, you're probably going to run into quite a few Imperials because, well, we're close to one of their bases. Whenever those dropships spawn, it's always at a specific point. It's not just like a purely random thing. Like when I was trying to farm the Bannerman for my bestiary there. Hmm... Should be one around here. Maybe it's... Yeah, further west or something. Let's check it out. I would think it would be pretty hard to miss something like that. No? Okay, maybe it's not further west. Okay, let me uh, try that again there. Okay, so we had this treasure... And then a little south and west of that. Probably closer over there. Try that one again. Sometimes I like to get out of an area where there is a treasure. So I can get a clear marker on there. Because if I'm just standing on top of it, it can be a little tricky. Ah, there we go. Ah, thanks, buddy. Okay, got that one. Okay, and then over here, right about there, I think. Yeah, that ought to be good. Let's go. Let's try that one again. Magitek engine, it's close. I don't think we're gonna really run into very many other enemies along the road. We'll see where the Imperials decide to drop off and whether I want to fight them or not. There is another Bannerman this will be quick. enemy that's exclusive to Chapter 3. So, and it is permanently missable, but I'll almost certainly run into it normally. Okay, so we got a bunch of Imperials over here. So, yeah, just warp in with your gun and then get out. If I can, I would like to get enhancement going. There we go. Ooh, crit. Yeah, when enhancement crits, it deal it causes you to deal even more damage to enemies with a whatever element you've gotten if they're weak to it. That is. Okay. Holding up, okay. There we go. Just trying warp all over the place. Get a little MP back. Now nah, let's kill the one that's almost dead. Hmm. I don't think I got AP from those last two guys. Bring on the next one. Hmm, that's weird. Maybe it just didn't display or something. Well, we're getting plenty of AP as it is anyway. But uh okay, so did I get the treasure here? Got distracted by the enemies. I think I got it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're good. Oh, yeah, I got the treasure and then got ambushed over there. But, uh, okay, easy enough. Easy oh, now. it's almost uh, nighttime. We're getting there. Gotta keep an eye on things. Eventually, I will probably warp back to the Haven and then continue onward. Or, well, Thanks make it daytime. Ride. And continue onward. Uh, thanks, buddy. I would rather be able to see 
what I'm doing. Okay. So let's see. I think there's two more on this side of the road, at least as far as I can tell. Let's see, right about there, I think. So yeah, whenever you see those Imperial guys, the Imperials are weak to firearms, but the the Magitek infantry, or anything with Magitek in the name, are weak to pole arms. So that's why I've got non-elemental weapons equipped to, well, suit different situations. And Ignis can take care of any elemental weaknesses that I might need. Okay, come on. Okay, one more, and then we've got the Imperial base ahead, which is... Well, I don't know if it's occupied, but we can run into soldiers over there. They're not blocking our path anymore, though, at least. We can drive in and out whenever we want. Hey, nice. Okay, now I'm not precisely sure where all of these treasures are. I mean, I have a map, but... Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, unless it's going to stop right on top of me. Okay, then I guess I can wait. So, like, one thing you could do here is if you got a like a fire spell or something, you could just nuke all of them in one no. shot. But then I wouldn't get AP for killing them one by one. So I'd rather do it this way to get AP, but if you have patience problems worse than me, then you could do it that way too. Okay, come on. I'm trying to get my distance so I can deal more damage with my work strikes. Gotta get out of there first. So yeah, you see how some of these guys are kind of, I don't know what that is, like they got lightning or something around them. I think that's like some sort of self-destruct sort of thing. Not exactly sure how that works. In any case, alright, let's see, we got a couple treasures on this side of the road in the base. I think they're both right at the top of the watchtower yeah. there. I hope you like these watchtowers, viewers, right. because you're going to see a lot of them throughout the game. Hmm. Imperials above us! Thanks. Right at their own base! Who would have thought? Let's see, I don't know that these ones these respawn. Do whatever. They're not helpful. <laughs> well, let's see what we can do. Oh. Uh, Heads up. where are they? How many times? Oh, talk. okay. Yeah. We can do it that way, too. Pato, you're up. Get a shot while we're at it. One for I suppose I could go for... Uh, what is that? Enhancement on these guys. Thanks for uh, kill stealing from me there. Yeah, that happens. Hmm. Another one out. <laughs> Well, that was weird. I don't remember these guys, like, ever attacking me like that. Yeah, you see, I didn't get AP from that guy. How much do I got? 210. Okay. Yeah, I'm not getting AP for some reason. I was thinking maybe it wasn't being displayed, but still being added. But no, doesn't work that way. Okay, let's see what we got around here. So let's see, I think right between these things. Alright, there's one. I think there's three treasures we can get around this place. I think there's one around this part. Hmm. Ah, there we go. I thought it was a little closer to the corner there. Okay, and then one more on this side, and I think that'll be all of them. 
Man, that hurts. Another headache. This is not normal. Oh, yeah, babe, no, I think it is becoming normal. Okay. Ha ha! Okay, so anyway, yeah, when it gets to about 18 or 1900 hours, it's almost nighttime. Oh, no, I don't want to return there. Want to go back to the haven there and. Well, I don't need to rest up, but want to change the time of day. So you see, like, one day cycle only took me, like, one-third of my food buff there. So now we can just... Yeah, I'm just going to continue from... Well, yeah, from, from here to get over to that part. Let's see. So yeah, I'm not even gonna go ba now. back to my car or anything like that. We'll just keep go. We'll go back to the base from over here. So the way I deal with Imperials is, I mean, if they're already here and they've been deployed, I'll fight them. But if you know someone says, "Hey, there's a yeah. Imperials above us" or whatever, then I probably won't worry about it. Because sometimes they can be, like, pretty far away from you. Hmm. I thought there was a treasure over here. Yeah, like, right by the the food spot there. Hey! Nice. Oh, okay, we can uh, do that, too. Hopefully I can grab the treasure without mounting the chocobo. Might as well get some other stuff, too, while we're at it. Ooh, nice. And let's see, I think there was a treasure over here, too. Ah, there we go. Eh, nothing extraordinary. I'm not extraordinarily worried about getting, like, Xperia cast treasures. If I get them, great. If not, it's... I mean, look at my levels already. I'm already far out-leveling everything else that I could fight. I mean, I do want to get more levels, but, like, it's not like Chapter 1 where I really want to get a certain amount by a certain time. So, for the rest of the game, I just get them as I go. But, uh, okay, we're back in the sky. Let's see where we go. Okay, so, yeah, let's get that out of the way. All right, looks like there's a little path over here. Somewhere around there, a couple treasures. Check it out. Oh, blessed weather. Yeah. Okay, so there's two treasures around here. I'm not sure which one I'm going to find first. Hmm. Ah, there's a little, like, pipeline or something. Thanks what is this life. thing for, anyway? I don't know. Nice riding with you. Hmm. Okay, and then there's one I think that's like right on this thing. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that in real life. But I suppose we can just follow it. Okay, right about there, I think. Oh, well. Oh, where'd my chocobo go? Dude. Oh, I was gonna say, maybe Chocobo doesn't like where I am. Sometimes the Chocobo Easy just won't now. come to you no matter what, depending on, like, what you're standing on or something. Like, sometimes I feel like you gotta be, like, pretty set on solid ground. But other times, not so much. Ah, there we go. Man, these things are everywhere. But all right, okay, so we're doing pretty good there. Let's see with the, the hunt. Let's see. This is, I think, the one that I actually want to do over there. So, yeah, just basically, I'm not going to get every treasure, like, all the way down here. I'm only going to do stuff that's, like, within this region for now, eventually. Can we defeat the gorillas and green gorillas that are... Terrorizing the area? 
find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy XV. This is H.E. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!